Hey everybody, Adam from The Army Painter here today. I'm very excited to showcase how to take your gray plastic minis from this to this very fast using the brand new speed paint range. It's easy to say that the Army Painter is born from speed painting. When we first launched the company 14 years ago, the very first product that we brought to market was our quick shade and the dipping method. We're reinventing speed painting with the new speed paints. And today we're gonna show you how to use them. We're not just gonna show you how to apply one coat and be done with the miniatures because it is that easy. We're gonna show off a few different techniques to get even more out of the speed paint range. With our speed paints, we always recommend giving it a prime of color primer matte white. You can also use our air primers that are coming out real soon. Those work fantastic. And if you'd like to, you can experiment a little bit. We like using colors like Necrotic Flesh, believe it or not, from the color primer range, or even Skeleton Bone. It really depends on what you're trying to achieve and the tone of the overall army or miniature that you're painting. But for right now, we're gonna stick with color primer matte white. Speed paints make painting super simple because you're just coloring inside the lines. You're going to apply your paint over top of the intended areas like so. And you notice that the pigments, the darker pigments, work their way into the recesses on the model while it leaves a nice saturation, a nice smooth coloration on the flatter parts of the model. I'm going to go ahead and paint in his fingers like so. Now don't worry if you mess up and you paint a little bit outside the lines, you can always just go ahead and grab some matte white war paint and paint right over top of it. This is really key because our war paints are a 100% match to the color primers of the same name. That makes speed painting with speed paints even more that efficient. You can see I messed up a little bit and got some of this speed paint on top of the armor panel here. So I'm just gonna take some of our war paint matte white and I'm gonna apply a couple smooth coats right over top and now it's ready for more speed paint. One of the nice things about the speed paints is that the bottles come with two mixing balls preloaded right inside. It makes mixing up those pigments nice and easy. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of our holy white to my wet palette here. And you can see it's a nice lightish gray like so. I'm just gonna load my brush ever so slightly. And I'm gonna paint this right over top of the hair, give him a nice gray hair, almost white hair look, like so. And you can see those pigments again, they're working their way into the recesses, giving it a nice amount of shading and depth, while also providing a little bit of color on the raised edges. Our goal with speed paint when we made it was to make it a one coat painting solution to make painting super fast and super simple, especially for new painters and new gamers out there. Now you could always go back and apply a highlight over top if you wanted to, once the speed paint has had time to dry, but you won't have to, that's, that's the goal here. You won't necessarily have to, to get your models ready for their next board game, ready for their next tabletop game. Now I'm not planning to paint this whole model on camera, I just wanna give you a nice idea of what speed paint can do and show off some of the colors and the variation of this new range of just applying a little bit of our camo cloak here. This is a nice, rich, almost grayish green over top of some of the details. And you can really go to town with the details on your miniature and paint it any way you want because in truth, by the time I'm done painting up this model, I'll probably only have 10, maybe 15 minutes invested in it. And this model is quite detailed. You know, my initial estimate of 15 minutes is probably way too high because this didn't take nearly as long. I spent more time trying to figure out what colors to paint the specific areas than anything. And that's the beauty of speed paint. It really is quick. You're just painting inside the lines as so. And I was very quick when I was painting this one. I didn't let any of the previous coats dry. And that would be even better if you are painting full armies or squads of miniatures because you could just be a little bit more precise and a little bit quicker when those additional pieces dry up before you apply your next color. But there you go. This all told probably about seven minutes. You could still see that some of the colors are still drying on there. Get nice vibrant coloration, some nice deep shadows, and even 
a pop of highlight on some of these areas on the hard edges. It really is amazing how fast speed paint can be. I really can't emphasize enough how quickly you can paint up miniatures, let alone full squadrons or even whole armies using the new speed paints. Now we're gonna delve into some additional techniques that can help you get even more out of your speed paint. We're gonna employ another category. We're gonna use our War Paints Air to apply a Zenithal highlight to the miniature. What is the Zenithal highlight? A Zenithal highlight is simply any highlight that comes from a light source. For instance, we're gonna use a top-down light source. And you can see just how I move my hand in front of our studio light here, how it kind of blocks some of the highlights and darkens the other bits into the shadows, even though we're using color primer matte black here. So to get started, I'm just going to use a little bit of our matte white from our color primer air range. And now in a top-down fashion, I'm going to apply the Zenithal highlight through the airbrush. I'm just focusing this on the upper areas of the model like so, leaving the shadow in the recesses. See how that builds a nice natural highlight. One of the additional benefits of using speed paint is how simple and easy it makes painting traditionally troublesome colors like reds and yellows. I'm gonna use a little bit of blood red here from the speed paints range, and I'm just gonna apply this over top of all of the metal parts on this model. And I'm being very quick and loose here, not no real rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I just want to show off what the range can do. And you can see why by applying that Zenithal highlight, it makes the contrast of the speed paint on the miniature even that much more great. But just see how simple in one simple coat, I was able to get nice strong coverage in red, one of the traditionally more difficult colors to paint just like so. See how vibrant that is. The color really, really pops. There's very strong pigmentation inside this Speed Paints range. Now on organic shapes like the musculature of this little alien, I'm not even sure what this is. This is another one from our friends at Reich Busters. This is where you can really see the benefits of that Zenithal highlight. I'm using Zealot Yellow here. This is a nice yellow tone. It works in the color family of demonic yellow and incursion orange and imp yellow that you'll find in the war paints air range as well as our standard war paints acrylics range but just look how simple it is to build up a nice strong vibrant yellow across this model in just one simple coat Speed paints add a lot of drama to your models. They provide that nice, rich saturation, those deep shadows, and just that little bit of highlight. And you can see when used in combination with something like a Zenithal highlight, just how pronounced and how dramatic that effect can be. We're gonna take it even one step further. We're gonna do it with one of the poster boys of all of tabletop gaming. I've already applied my Zenithal highlight to this Space Marine here, and I've loaded up my Masterclass dry brush with a little bit of matte white paint. I've removed some of the excess off the bristles, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick out some of the highlights with a very faint dry brush across the model. This is gonna even further pronounce the hard edges on the miniature like so. You could see really easily how it was able to pull off those details on that shoulder pad there. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat this all across the model, especially the face. Remember the first place people see, they see that first initial color on your miniature or your army. And the next thing that they see are typically the eyes of that miniature. So we're going ahead and we almost looks like we have a black and white comic book going on here with this Space Marine miniature. And this is just helping to pick out some of those details ever so slightly by applying this nice light dry brush across the miniatures. Work very lightly and just build it up ever so slightly with additional passes with the dry brush. When working with a miniature that has slightly more broader or flatter panels, like a Space Marine, we recommend sizing up your brush. I'm using a monster brush from the War Gamer range. This is just gonna help to move that speed paint across those broader surfaces a lot easier. Now, we're not here to debate what chapter is the best. 
we're just picking a color here and we're going to apply it to the model. We're using a bit of runic gray. This is another new one from the Speed Paints range. And we're just gonna apply this all over the miniature like so. You can see how I'm just sweeping this across that shoulder pad, letting the pigment get nice, solid, even coverage, and then I'll pull the rest of the pigment down, almost like I'm applying a wash. I'm gonna repeat this all over the miniature, and you can see as I've applied this across the areas where that edge highlight might have caught in, getting a nice, simple highlight effect. This knee pad right here is a great example because you can see that little bit of the edge highlight that's built up underneath that little calf armor and on top of the knee pad. And that's from that dry brush and the Zenithal highlight in combination makes a really nice realistic gradation effect. Well, that runic gray is, while that runic gray is drying, I'm just gonna take a bit of palette bone. I'm gonna paint in all of the cloth bits on this miniature like so. And then I'm just gonna apply it. He's got this nice devilish mask here. I'm just gonna apply it over top like so. Maybe you wanna give your miniature a squad marking to represent what squad he's in. I'm using Fire New Orange. This is another nice, vibrant, highly saturated color. And just in one simple coat, we have a beautiful orange on this miniature. Next with Blood Red and your flesh tone of choice, you'll paint in all of the additional bits on the model. Then with my regiment brush, I like to go and use a color like Gravelord Gray and just go ahead and paint in all of these inner parts of this suit, just like so. You can also use this to paint in the metallic areas like the pieces of his gun here just like that. Now, you could always use one of our War Paints Metallics, but this is a speed paint tutorial, so I'm gonna show you how to use speed paints. It really is hard to believe how quickly this Space Marine model came together. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not gonna win you any painting awards, but it does produce a really high quality tabletop standard. You're going to impress the heck out of your friends, whether it's at your next gaming night or for your next big event, show off how quickly you speed painted your new miniature, your new squadron, regiment, or entire army with the speed paint range from the Army Painter.